I know that Kevin Prince Boateng's move to Barcelona suddenly excites so many people who believe that we should go for our best talent. And I have absolutely no comments about that. I'm not the coach of the team. If the manager of the team, Kosiapia, believes candidly that Kevin has what it takes to get on the African scene and win the trophy, why not? But as I said, I don't think that we should reduce the national team to just names. Selecting players for the national team goes beyond just talent. It also has to do with discipline. It has to do with people who are ready and passionate for the national cause, not personalities who just prove opportunistic and pick and choose when they have to play for the national team. So when it sues them, they don't the national colors, and when it does not see them, they don't dump the national team. I do not think that is the part I want to see a nation uh, a threat. But as I said, I'm not a national coach. I will be all for if the national manager in his candid opinion believes that Kevin has what it takes to come on the international scene in AFCON, in Egypt, and he help us to win the Africa Cup, I'll be all for that. It's a question that is a bit difficult to suggest that Kevin is going to apologize. Looking at the track record of Kevin, I think that uh, he decides when he needs to play for us. And we can go a little back into history. I remember when he played for Portsmouth, when he had never played for us. And Portsmouth were relegated and was struggling for a team. Those were the days he took the initiative and was literally begging us to come and play for us. And of course, he's a huge talent. There's no question about that. His confidence level is extraordinary. He's an extraordinary performer. There's no question about that. Fortunately, we satisfy the um, statutes and enrolled him. We went to South Africa. And I must say that if we won the, no, no, if we went far in that competition, I think Kevin was one of the reasons. Because in South Africa, for me, he was incredible. All the players excelled, but I thought that he brought some magic, particularly in midfield. And his confidence level and the extent to which he edged the players was extraordinary. After that, he became a global icon. Before that, yes, he was an international figure, but he wasn't a global icon. The world stage gave him that exposure that he needed. And all the teams started chasing him. And he had a major breakthrough from Portsmouth to AC Milan, where he also won and excel. And it really hurt me that having been given that opportunity and having had that breakthrough, Kevin would turn his back on us for four years until we qualify for the Cup of Nations again and again he proved very opportunistic and came on board again we went to Brazil we all know what happened in Brazil so this time around playing for one of the best teams around the world Barcelona I personally do not think that Kevin would apologize to us to come and play in the Africa Cup of Nations on African soil in Egypt I do not know for what purpose you know, I mean, he has very little to gain. And that is why I do not think that we should spend too much time on emphasizing his inclusion in the team. The national team is for individuals and performers who want to don a national jersey. It must be played out of a sense of pride, out of a sense of nationalism and patriotism. Having grown up through the decades, the footballers I met growing up all played out of a true sense of nationalism. The likes of the films, you were so young, in the 50s and 60s, the Kofi Paris, you know, coming forward to the days of the Adat Tenchehines and the Mohamed Polos, you know, to the days of the Pocuntis and the Pelés. The national team is always for people who are passionate about the national cause.